Hey YouTube, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for the last couple weeks and I think that I need to get it made now sooner than later because the election's coming up pretty fast. And I keep having these debates on Facebook with people who are Mitt Romney supporters. And every time I have these debates, I keep trying to educate people on why, it's, why this election is so important. And people keep giving me stupid reasons without any information or background. So I want to make one last attempt to basically plead my case on why you should not vote for Mitt Romney, why you need to vote for Obama this next election. Number five, oh no, it fell down. Number five, the economy. Okay, so I made number five the economy. And the reason why I say that the economy is the least most important issue to vote for Mitt Romney, because for me it's a no-brainer. I mean, trickle-down economics does not work. Mitt Romney is not a businessman. He basically inherited most of his income, and he has used his income as a way to destroy businesses and send jobs overseas. Now, I'm not sure why it is that so people give so much credibility to Mitt Romney for his business skills. Um, I don't consider somebody who destroys jobs and sends jobs overseas as a person who will lead our economy out of recession. As you guys all know, the re economy is starting to improve. Things are starting to get better, and we are slowly coming out of a recession. If you don't believe me, go ahead and look at this chart. Okay, if you can see that chart, when Obama took office, this country was losing 800,000 jobs a month. 800,000 jobs a month off of a Republican presidential uh, leader, George Bush. Now we're creating over 100,000 jobs a month. That's pretty much an indication of the economy and where we're going. The stock market's up 60%. Um, Mitt Romney's goals for the economy is basically to give the America another 20% tax cut. Now that's not based in fact. Every economist, conservative and liberal, had looked at his pl tax plans and said that there's no way that he will be able to give a 20% tax break to all Americans without eliminating some uh, types of middle class tax cuts. Basically, the homeowner's tax cut will be eliminated under Mitt Romney. Our child uh, tax cut will be eliminated under Mitt Romney. So after everything is said and done, uh, middle class families and low income families will have their taxes go up under Mitt Romney. They will not get a tax cut. The wealthy will get richer and the poor will get poorer. And number four, social policies. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Social policies, anywhere from birth control to women's reproductive rights to immigration rights to the way that we deal with the poor in this country. I mean, there are so many different issues that I can talk about. When we look at real leadership and we look at a, a, the type of person who wants to be inclusive of all people, that is definitely Obama. Mitt Romney is not an inclusive person. Um, he is somebody who, whose ideas of what it means to be socially conscious is, is insane. I mean, he doesn't include everybody in, I mean, in his own words about the 47%. You know, Mitt Romney represents business and rich people. He does not represent the good of all Americans. And as the leader of the free country, you need to be considerate of all people's rights, not just a small minority. Number three, it's not nice to lie. Okay, so number three, I think, is one of the most important issues, and it's because um, you cannot elect a liar as your leader. Mitt Romney has been a flip-flopper, an etch-a-sketch, a liar um, on every issue possible. No one really knows where he stands. I mean, business know that he's pro-business, but that's about it. On every other issue, he's contradicted himself. He's lied. I mean, it's been proven he lied something like 53 times in the debates. You know, he basically tells people what they want to hear. And I'm going to let Mitt Romney's own words debate himself. I, I will not reduce the taxes paid by high-income Americans. There, there were so many misrepresentations in there, it's going to take me a little while. Number one, I, vote, I said today that we're going to cut taxes on everyone across the country by 20%, including the top 1%. And the key to great schools, great teachers. So I reject the idea that I don't believe in great teachers or more teachers. He says we need more firemen, more policemen, more teachers. Did he not get the message of Wisconsin? The American people did. It's time for us to cut back on government. Actually, it's, it's, it's a, a lengthy descript description, but number one, pre-existing conditions are covered under my plan. Well, suppose they were never insured well, if before. They, well, if, they, if they're 45 years old and they show up and they say, I want insurance because I've got a heart disease, it's like, hey, guys, we, we, we can't play the game like that. You've got to get insurance when you're well, and, so it, and then if you get ill, then you're going to be covered. And number two, gay rights. Okay. This is the most frustrating reason for me. I have actual gay friends who say they're going to vote for Mitt Romney because they don't vote on a single issue, LGBT equality. I don't understand how any LGBT person, any gay person, can vote against their own rights. 
I mean, we're talking about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. We're talking about marriage equality. Mitt Romney would like to reinstate Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He would like to basically ban gay marriage in the Constitution. You know, he has basically said that he wants to overturn Obama's hospital visitation rights law, which basically means if I'm in Florida and Brian gets hurt, that I will be in a lobby while he dies in a hospital room next to me. Um, and he recently just came out and said that, you know, gay adoption and, and people having kids is ridiculous, that it doesn't look right on paper and it doesn't look right in life. So he's basically against our LGBT families adopting and having foster, you know, and fostering kids. Anybody who is gay that can sit here and vote for, you know, anybody who cares about gay people, anybody who, who understands that LGBT people are just as much a part of American culture and society um, that could vote for this person who is so anti-gay and anti our rights, I, I don't understand it. Um, I have recently been been um, getting rid of some of my friends on Facebook and who are really big supporters of Mitt Romney just because, you know, anybody who I feel supports Mitt Romney on this issue really doesn't support my family. They don't care about my family. They don't care about the future of my family. You know, it just, it blows my mind. If you're an LGBT person, you really need to go look in the mirror and talk to yourself about what's right. If you're single now and you don't understand how important it is that someday when you're married and have a family, that these rights, you know, basically will cover every aspect of who you are as a person. You know, you cannot vote for a person who thinks of you as less than, you know, and it just blows my mind. Number one, the Supreme Court. Then what's the Supreme Court? The Supreme Court is the most important reason that you need to vote for Obama this time. I mean, there is even if you don't like Obama because you're a racist, even if you don't like Obama's policies, even if you don't think Obama's a good leader, even if you don't think Obama's been strong on progressive liberal ideas, it is super important that the Supreme Court does not swing any further to the conservative side. There are actually nine justices. Four of them are super conservative, four of them are liberal, and one of them is a moderate who swings back and forth and usually teams up with, with the liberals on social issues like gay rights and equality issues. But this next term is so important, not only for gay rights, it's important for voting rights, it's important for immigration rights, it's important for business rights, it's important, you know, I mean, basically the Supreme Court has ruled that businesses are like people and they have a voice when it comes to politics, which is complete garbage. I mean, it, it is leaning so far to the conservative side that it's changing the way that we as Americans look at our freedoms and our rights. I mean, it needs to stop. And in the next coming four years, there are three justices that may retire. One of them is fighting with cancer. Um, you know, she's a, a liberal judge who is probably going to have to retire and be replaced. Now, if she does step down and Mitt Romney is president, he's going to basically put a conservative justice there, which will make it six against three. You know, this we're talking about a generation. We're talking about our kids, our families, our futures. I mean, you know, we're, we've been fighting so hard for gay rights and marriage equality. Well, these are the justices that will basically say, you know, if it goes any more conservative, that they'll be able to ban us in the Constitution, that our rights are not as equal as our heterosexual counterparts. You know, it is so important that the Supreme Court stays liberal or moves more to the left because that will determine how Americans have a right to live in this country. So if, if you go to the poll this year and you're looking at these two candidates, understand that the most important issue this time is the Supreme Court. It's important that it doesn't get any more conservative. It gets more conservative, all of our rights are at stake. You know, the future of, of who will be able to vote is at stake. You know, it's time to make a stand. And I hope this election you guys do the right thing and, you know, look at all the issues and vote. You know, do some research, do some background checks on Mitt Romney and his lies and the things that he said and how they don't add up. OK, it's, it's super important. <sighs> OK, so I've had my rant and I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. And I promise the next couple weeks we're going to do a couple of fun videos and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that this election goes to Obama and that the future of America is brighter than what it would be under Mitt Romney. Take care, you two.